Okay, no time to piss off Morrigan. I await your command. Okay, she kind of likes me. Um, I'd like to ask you something. So, full of questions, are you? <laughs> I could piss her off. I could piss her off. Did you grow up in the Kokari Wilds? Why do you ask me such questions? I do not probe you for pointless information, oh, God damn do it. I? You could if you wanted to. <laughs> oh, what luck. What is it you asked if I grew up in the wild? See, she's so easy a to set question. off. Where else would you picture me? For many years it was simply Flemeth and I. The wilds and its creatures were more real to me than Flemeth's tales of the world of man. In time, I grew curious. I left the wilds to explore what lay beyond, never for long. Always have to be careful to talking to her. Into a civilized wilderness. And she's fascinated with it, right? But she kept going back to the wilds. Would you not do the same? Your world is an unforgiving and cold place. The wilds I hail from is home to me and I a natural denizen. For all that I had been taught, however, the truth of the civilized lands proved to be overwhelming. <laughs> I was I mean, yeah. familiar with so if much. If I was raised in the so woods and went into the center of Portland? I, yet there was much that yeah. Plymouth could never have prepared me for. Uh, are you hurt? Oh, one of these two. Very daring, that sounds like you. <laughs> Equal parts daring and foolhardy, perhaps. Only once was I accused of being a witch of the wilds, and that by a chastened who happened to be traveling with a merchant. Oh, there you go. Oh, chastened are pretty he good at uh, pointing them out. began shouting in his strange language, and most assumed he was casting some curse upon me. I acted the terrified girl, and naturally, he was arrested. <laughs> that was quick thinking. Men are always willing to believe two things about a woman. One, that she is weak, and two, that she finds him attractive. <laughs> I played the weakling and battered my eyes. Oh, more again. Every now and then we find something <laughs> we agree on, but sometimes Child's we don't. Day. The point being that I was able to move through human lands fairly easily. Whatever humans think a witch of the wild looks like, tis not I. Not that I did not have trouble. There are things about human society which have and always such puzzled me. The fact such that you're an apostate with a staff, with a staff Why everywhere. Why all the touching for a simple greeting? It's not human society. You're infrailed in touching like handshake. The bad touch. Touching like handshake. To begin with, yes. What is the point of touching my hand? I find it an offensive. To intrusion. check and see if you have any hidden daggers on your wrist, hand, or anything else that could be used to, to assassinate eyes. you when you have your back turned. How to eat at a table. How to bargain without offending, none of these things I knew. I still do not understand it all, truth be told, but then I gave up long ago any hope of doing so. When I returned to the wilds last, I swore to Flemeth that I had no intention of leaving again. Um... The trick's on you. I'm glad it worked out this way, at least. Yes? Let's ignore the entire Darkspawn threat and the presence of a simpleton as your only other Grey Warden ally, then. <laughs> Not that I lack appreciation. Oh, that's so awesome! Don't call him a simpleton. Thank you. He's just goofy. Well, let's get on with it before the ground opens up and swallows us. Yes. She pissed. Is she pissed? Is she pissed? <sighs> okay. I Stage one. Stage one. I to ask you something. So full of questions. We're, are through, you? we're through stage one. Um. It's not really what she seems to be. <laughs> well, that depends, does it not? What does she seem to be? No, but my power will have a car. A nutty old bat! <laughs> Sometimes I do wonder the very same <laughs> thing. Tell me, how much do you know of the tale? The one that the chastened still well, tell of my mother? Well, I know everything. Fighting them into obedience. I know everything about the tale, but you ain't doesn't. Um, I've heard little of it. I've heard a little of it. No doubt such a tale has mutated much over time and telling. I can relay what Flemeth once told me herself, and you can decide whether or not tis the truth, if you desire. Um, sounds interesting. As the tale is sung by the bards, there was a time when Flemeth was young and beautiful, a fair lass in a land of barbarian men, the desire of any who saw her. Yes, if it, just how long ago is this? Many centuries. So Flemeth is Before very, very old. Was even named Ferelden. 
The tales say that Flemeth fell in love with Osen the Bard and fled the castle of her husband, the dreadlord Conobar, and that he swore vengeance for her infidelity. In truth, my mother claims that twas Osen who was her husband, and Conobar the jealous lord who looked on from afar. Okay. Lord Conobar approached young Osen and offered him wealth and power in exchange for his lovely wife. And Osen agreed. He sold his wife to another man? The life of a bard is a poor one, and love fades in the wake of hunger. It was Flemeth who suggested the arrangement. All would have been well had Lord Conobar kept his end of the bargain. But he didn't, but because he he's mean. But he was a foul man who bargained with coin he did not possess. Yep. Osen was led off to a field and <gasps> slain, left for dead. I bet that pissed Flemeth, Flemeth off. to the spirits and learned of the deed, and swore revenge. But she, wasn't she now married to the to a wealthier man? That was not the point. Conobar had no honor, so she would not have him. Ah, Flemeth that begged makes total sense to me, actually. To her, and twas they who slew Conobar. The demon the legend tells of came later. Lord Conobar's allies chased Flemeth, you see. Chased her to the wilds, and there she hid. There she found the demon, and he made her strong. The legends all speak of the great hero Cormac, he who defeated Flemeth and her great army when she invaded the lowlands centuries later. All lies. Oh yeah, or Flemeth wouldn't be alive. Which she, ne Which she never invaded or he never defeated her? The truth of the matter is that there was never an invasion. As Flemeth tells it, the Chastened never raised an army under her banner and she never fought with any warrior named Cormac. Cormac led a brutal civil war against his own people, and later claimed it was to vanquish evil that had taken root amongst the lords. Thus, he was hailed a hero. Flemeth was only calculating move that much later. Perhaps it was due to the great war with the Chastened that eventually came, but Mother claims not to know how it began. Um, how's the Flemeth has survived for so long? The demon within her has transformed her into something else an abomination perhaps some would say i know not i only know my mother is clever and she is part of the wilds as it is part of her but she is no immortal she bleeds a blade in her heart would kill her like any other were it lucky enough to find her really tell me more and the legend about fun with having many daughters you ask if i have sisters i have asked of this myself the stories tell of many witches of the wilds, after all, not just the one. And these tales existed long before I did. Flemeth refuses to speak of other daughters. Really? So I wonder should I what believe that I could mean. First? I doubt that, too. Why would she refuse to speak of them? The Chastened tell of a falling out between Flemeth and her daughters. They say that one day she hunted them all through the wilds and ate their hearts. It may be true. I have never seen another witch or heard of one. Perhaps one day Flemeth will eat my heart as well. Um, usually insane horrors. Do you believe her version? I do not believe everything that Flemeth claims. Often it seems her bitterness has colored her memories. But on the whole, yes, I believe this tale, if not all. I'm not going to say that. That's going to just piss her off. <gasps> An interesting story. Thank you. Flemeth tells it with far more embellishment than I, but you are welcome. Dare I ask of your own mother? Few uh, are abominations of legend, she died. it is true, but I find myself By the way, she died. My mother, di my mother died recently, in fact. Ah, then you have my sympathies for what it is worth. Which is very little, I am certain. It matters not. Let us move on. Did I piss her off? Yay! More approval! I await Keeping her happy is so difficult! So, full of questions, are you? <laughs> um... Not asking that. <laughs> How did you become a shape changer? I was not born such. Tis a skill of Flemeth's, taught over many years in the wilds. The chastened have tales of wee witches. 
saying that we assume the forms of creatures to watch them from And hiding. you do, don't you? When a child is alone and separate from his tribe, that is when we strike, dragging the young boy kicking and screaming to our lair to be devoured. A most amusing legend. And you don't do that. Your mother's been doing this... Your mother's been doing this for a long time, then. Changing her form, certainly. Devouring lost children, I cannot <coughs> say. She has not done it in my experience, though in truth my lifespan is but a fraction of her own. Why do you ask? Is there something specific you wish to know? Um... Do you spend a lot of time with an animal? There were nights when the wilds called to me, it is true. You look upon the world around you and you think you know it well. I have smelled it as a wolf, listened as a cat, prowled shadows that you never dreamed existed. But my that life sounds is as really, a human, really I cool. No to the I would love that ability. Um, and what did other animals think of you, Merchant? I'm trying to get her to like me without pissing her me. off. To their senses, I believe I seem like any other of it's their probably going to be two videos of just as talking. Think. I truly cannot say. Just as I am still human, no matter my form, they are still animals. Thus, they cannot speak, even were I to ask. Good point. Never heard of magic like that before. No? Tis not unheard of in the remote corners of the world. But not in the Chantry, and there I'm a noble, traditions so... of magic outside of the Circle of Magi, despite what those mages would have you believe. Some of these traditions are old, indeed, passed down as carefully guarded law from one generation to the next. Tell me more! The zealots of the Chantry would uproot all such practitioners if they could. But as luck have it, some still exist. And it's not possible My to uproot every single practitioner of every... It's, it's just not feasible. That's good. Such traditions need to be preserved. I am surprised you think so. Still, it is a pleasant thing to hear. Um, can you change into other human forms as well? The form of an animal is different from my own. One may study the creature, learn to move as it does, think as it does. In time, this allows one to become as it is. I gain nothing by studying another human. Because you already, I already are human. Am the same okay, so you can't turn into other I humans because that would be so the answer overpowered. Is no. My human form is the only one I possess. Can anyone become a shame changer? Anyone with sufficient will. But the act of transformation is a magical one. It is a spell and thus requires a mage's talents. Therefore, I could if never you do had it. A notion to Darn learn it! Such a skill for yourself. Sadly, you must remain disappointed. Aww. Indeed. Have you an opinion on my ability? Oh God damn it! Now she's gonna be. Am pissed. I an unnatural abomination to be put to the torch? Well, I'm at the very least, I think your abilities sound quite useful. A most practical opinion, far more so than any man I have spoken to. <laughs> but enough of such talk. Let us. She's see such a man hater sometimes, and yet you can't romance her as a female. Not done yet. I await your command. Okay, now's the really hard one. Um, I'd like to discuss something personal. We are in camp, so tis as good a time as any. Nope, nope, nope. I'm not even gonna try that one. That's just going to set I her off. Because you can command. tell her to leave. So life in the wild must have been very lonely. At times, perhaps. A world full of people and buildings and things was all very foreign to me. If I wished companionship, I ran with the wolves and flew with the birds. If I spoke, it was to the trees. Huh. And did they speak back? That sounds wonderful. For a time. But one can that only actually does. That sounds really fun. So long. Just I staying the in the woods time for a while. I crept beyond the edge of the wilds. I did so in animal form, remaining in the shadows and watching these strange townsfolk from afar. I happened upon a noblewoman by her carriage, adorned in sparkling garments the likes of which I had never before seen. And she did something to I her, was of course. Dazzled. This, to me, seemed what true wealth and beauty must be. I snuck up behind her and stole a hand mirror from the carriage. It was encrusted in gold and crystalline gemstones, and I hugged it to my chest with delight as I sped back to the wilds. I can't imagine Fenneth was pleased! She was not. Flemeth was furious with me. 
I honestly I don't a understand child why. And had not yet come into my full power, and I had risked discovery for the sake of a pretty boy. Oh yeah, and then there's that too. To teach me a lesson, Flemeth took the mirror and smashed it upon the ground. Oh, that broke your heart. I was yeah, that would that would break my heart too. Um, that was right, no doubt. Flemeth was. I'm just. I'm gonna go with this. Beauty and love are fleeting and have no meaning. Survival has meaning. Power. Has wow, maybe that's why I can't get along with her today, outside of camp. As difficult as they might have been. Um, they made you stronger, didn't they? They did indeed. To return to your original question, perhaps my time in the wilds was indeed lonely, but such was how it had to be. I find myself at times wondering what might have become of the girl with the beautiful golden mirror, but such fantasies have no place amidst reality. That that sounds really harsh. Oh, I guess she really likes me now. I guess I'm doing this well. I await your command. Um. So, full of questions, are you? <laughs> Have you ever been hunted by the Chantry? My mother has been hunted from time to time, yes. Haven't asked her this one yet. Templar fools this is going to take Alistair, forever. <laughs> which should tell you how successful they generally were. Not very. Flemeth made a bit of a game of it, in fact. The Templars would come again, and she would look at me and smile and say that the fun was to begin once more. You really had no trouble for them? With them? I am unsure. I was too young to understand, and perhaps it was bravado on Flemeth's part, or perhaps she was merely amused. I will never know. Flemeth would warn them once. It was a warning they inevitably failed to. Of feed. course, because that's what they do. And then the true game began. And then Often they Flemeth would all die. Would use me as bait, <laughs> a little girl to scream and run and lure the Templars deeper into the wilds and to their doom. Um, surely more would have followed. Sometimes, eventually, armies of people going against Flemeth and she just murders them all. Place. Once they found us, Flemeth would simply move us elsewhere and we would be lost within the forest once again. I did not understand the danger we faced until I was much older. I had never heard of apostates or maleficarum. Um... Mm, what exactly is an apostate? You do not know. The zealots use that. <laughs> I don't want to piss her off. Magic they do not control. And those other options look like pissing her off. Sees any mage is not leashed to the circle of magi as apostates, and apostates could become maleficarum, evil mages that resort to blood magic and become demon enslaved abominations. I can just see air Maybe quotes around everything true. she said. Then still, those of us who prefer freedom see no reason to submit. Um. If I were a mage, I might think the same. Thank you for small favors, then, at the very least. Enough of this talk. Let us return to the task at hand. Mm -hmm.